Thanks for watching. This is going to be a technical clip brought to you by California Surveying and Drafting Supply on Trimble RealWorks software in the registration modules. First thing we're going to talk about is the overall importance of 3D point cloud registration. We're going to look at the various methods of registration using targets or without. We're also going to talk about geo-referencing, putting it on survey control or assigning project coordinates. And then we're going to look at some other UCS tools that we can use to orient and rotate our project. So first, let's talk about the concept of registration. If you think of each one of your scans as a puzzle piece, they all have to fit together to complete the puzzle. We want to do this as accurately as possible because ultimately your puzzle is going to be a project. So the importance of registration is paramount for quality control and quality assurance. Here's a look at some scans that are not registered. The puzzle pieces have not yet been put together. Our job is to get these puzzle pieces together accurately and efficiently as possible. So let's talk about the various methods of registration, starting with traditional target-based registration first. Now we do a lot of registration without targets now, but all you have to do is simply extract the targets in RealWorks. You can define the diameter of the sphere, which reference station you want to use. You have level stations. You can generate a preview scan. All you have to do is type in the diameter of your target. Trimble RealWorks will do the conversion for you if you're working in millimeters or feet or inches. And then through the power of video editing, we can fast forward to our results here with residual error per station. It'll also show us our fitting error per target. So you can comb through your project and see which targets fit well and which ones don't. You'll get your overall residual error displayed up here as well. So we can maintain accuracy throughout. And what good is any of this data if we can't share it with somebody? So next, we're going to look a little bit at target extraction. RealWorks makes it very easy to extract targets. It's not just a one click and you get what you get. When you do click on a target, you can change the diameter of it on the fly. You can also check in 3D to make sure that your target fits very well and may also verify that you have the right diameter. If you're working on multiple projects, you might be using different types of spheres. We have the option to enter a uh, rod height right here. Uh, for survey control and it will actually display the rod height and give us a projected point on the ground based on that rod height. We can also extract checkerboard targets pretty easily. We can do this with one click or we can lasso the area and segment out the cloud. Again it shows it in 3D on the bottom and we also have the option to manipulate the center of this target. Next we're going to talk about just targetless registration. There's really nothing to show here. You click it and you get some results. If all went well, after a few minutes, you'll get a comprehensive registered point cloud. What you also get is this great registration report which shows each individual cloud to cloud, station to station error, the number of coincidence points, and the confidence that RealWorks has. Again, we can export this data. Now we've got a situation here where maybe we've put some stuff together and one station didn't register properly. I've got an auto-registered group, and then I've got one scan that didn't fit well. Using the cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration tools built inside of Trimble RealWorks, we can actually separate this group as a reference. And then we have one moving cloud over here. And you'll see that we can actually take these two separate entities and we can place them together in 3D. Whether it's a group or scan to scan, I can literally drag this around so I can get a visual look as to how good the fit is. And then there's also some visual checking that RealWorks allows you to do. It's a tool called Registration Visual Check. And essentially we could take some cross sections, isolate some areas, and verify that our 
project is fitting together the way we intend. You could do this for one scan, multiple scans, or multiple groups of scans as well. Next, let's uh, look at geo-referencing here, which is also very important. Now what we're going to do is, uh, in the background here as I'm extracting targets, I'm going to show you the different geo-referencing options that we get. We can do traditional survey setup with a station setup or a resection where we can assign a point, pick from a list, we can extract a back site, uh, whether we do it on the fly, we can modify our instrument height, set it over a known point, what I'm doing here is I'm just going to extract four targets and then we're going to import a survey control file and we're going to assign these four control points to the four targets that I've extracted including their rod heights. So we can just click on the target. We can also assign points to actually 3D scan points. Right now I'm using targets but we do have the option just to pick a point. If you notice over here on the left I've got by target and by picking. You'll also notice on the left there that the air will be building as I add targets to the project. You need at least three to register this way. And when you're done selecting all of them, you can choose to hold particular targets or not, and your air will adjust based on the selection box on the left. You can also choose to view your error. So not only does it tell you what your delta is, it shows you the direction that you're off, which is a common question that we get actually all the time. So here you can see we've rotated this to a nice project north here. We can do this without survey control or without coordinates using other sorts of UCS tools. Trimble RealWorks, the most basic tool, which is also very helpful, is called the Orientation Tool. It's going to lock this project in 2D. I'm looking at it from the top down. There's a button that says Automatic Axis Definition. So it's already taken these planes and lined them up. And then if I want, I can rotate around the Z-axis until I get to a nice project north. And this is all done automatically by the software. I can also quickly select an origin if I wanted to. And by just accepting this, you change the main UCS of the project. The last thing that you can do is uh, basically make a UCS out of the plane of the face of the building. Uh, you can set the Z-axis level to something if you'd like. In this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly model a column. So I'll go into Scan Explorer. I'm going to extract the faces of these columns using some built-in tools that Trimble RealWorks has for plane extraction. And I'm just using the third column here. I'll jump over to the other station and I'll extract the same two planes. And then we'll jump back into the software. And I'm going to model this column since it's pretty much a primitive geometry. And a lot of times we want our origin to be at the center of a column like this. So what I'll do quickly is isolate this column. I'm going to fit some geometry to it. And then I'm going to assign the origin to the center of this primitive geometry. This is a very useful tool in creating alternate UCSs for surveyors who might be working on state plane coordinates, but they have a client, like a building construction client or an architect, who wants the origin to be at the center of a grid. So now that I have this column quickly modeled from the cloud data, I can open up this UCS tool. There's an option over here to select the frame from a primitive geometry or a local object. And you, as you can see, it's set the X and Y axis through this geometry. I also have the option to rotate around that axis. So there you have it, the registration tools and Trimble RealWorks. If you need any more information, please get in touch. Solutions at csdsinc.com. Thanks.